What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out Russia's new monster vehicle created to end war fast. Let's get to it. Since after World War II, infantry fighting vehicles have become an indispensable part of modern warfare, combining the mobility of transport vehicles with the protective power of light tanks. Despite their impressive capabilities, IFVs have been plagued by some of the shortcomings of both conventional fighting vehicles and light tanks. They tend to be slower, bulkier, and less maneuverable than a Humvee, while also being more vulnerable than a tank. However, the Russian army is making strides toward addressing these issues by introducing a new, robust solution that boasts unprecedented speeds. Enter the VPK-7829 Boomerang, a direct competitor to the American Striker. This innovative new vehicle promises to deliver the same level of firepower and protection as its counterparts, but with the added speed advantage. In fact, the Boomerang is set to be the fastest IFV in the world, with a top speed that surpasses even the most advanced models currently in use. If the claims are valid, the Boomerang's deployment is expected to send shockwaves throughout How fast is it? the military world. Precursors. The Russian military has a long and distinguishing history of designing and producing infantry fighting vehicles. As the creators of perhaps the first modern IFV in the world after World War II, with the introduction of the groundbreaking Soviet BMP-1 in 1966, the Russian military has continued to refine and improve its designs, incorporating the latest technology and battle-tested features. Before the BMP-1, most armored troop transportation vehicles were designated Armored Personnel Carriers, or APCs. These vehicles were designed to transport infantry troops to and from the battlefield, and were equipped with light armor and external arms to protect their occupants from small arms fire, shrapnel, and other battlefield hazards. Back then, however, the USSR's main concern was not small arms fire, but the potential extended use of nuclear weapons in the battleground. As such, the Soviet strategists realized the importance of transporting troops to the battlefield without exposing them to harmful radioactive fallout. To address this concern, they embraced the idea of the IFV, which would allow soldiers to fight inside their vehicles in contaminated environments. With the BMP-1, the Soviets overhauled the APC formula by designing a vehicle to provide direct fire support to infantry troops. In addition to its transport capabilities, an IFV is equipped with heavier armor, more powerful weapons, and advanced fire control systems that allow it to engage and destroy enemy targets, while keeping the troops inside the protected hull of the vehicle. The experience gained throughout the decades has led to the creation of the VPK-7829 Boomerang, the latest addition to the Russian military's IFV fleet. Breakdown Initially expected to be delivered by 2021, Boomerang is a highly advanced IFV that builds upon the strengths of previous Russian designs while incorporating modern technology and innovative features. Developed as a replacement for the BTR-80 in the 90s, it boasts an impressive improvement in armament, protection, mobility, and internal space. Moreover, it's based on the Armada Universal Combat Platform, making it one of the most technologically advanced armored vehicles on the planet. As an agile eight-wheeled combat vehicle, the Boomerang will serve several roles from arm. See the turning radius. The turning radius is very impressive. Let's see that again. Platform, making it one of the most technologically advanced armored vehicles on the planet. As an agile eight-wheeled combat vehicle. See that? Yeah, it's impressive, right? The Boomerang will serve several roles from armored transport to reconnaissance, anti-tank missile carrier, and even a light tank. It's equipped with a 750 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine and boasts ceramic armor and features to prevent shell splinters, keeping soldiers safer than ever before. The Boomerang's design is a radical departure from the BTR series of vehicles, with its engine located in the front instead of the rear. This not only provides more room for troops, but allows soldiers to exit through rear doors and roof hatches instead of cramped side doors. Moreover, it has the ability to negotiate and overcome water obstacles using wow. two water jets. Really? 
The vehicle comes in two versions, the K-16 armored personnel carrier and the K-17 infantry fighting vehicle. The K-16 has a remote weapon station with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, while the K-17 is heavily armed with either a 30mm or 57mm autocannon and Comet EM anti-tank missiles or AU-220M with a 57mm BM-57 autocannon and 7.62mm PKMT machine gun. The K-17 version can also function as a fire support vehicle, anti-tank missile carrier, or air defense missile launcher. The Need for Speed In the world of armored vehicles, speed is becoming the name of the game for IFB manufacturers. Mobility is critical when it comes to deployment and response time. Not to mention, it's also a game-changer when it comes to getting out of sticky situations as fast as possible. The primary role of an IFV is to protect and support infantry, and that's historically been achieved through thick layers of armor. But in the modern world of warfare, the best defense is a good offense. That's why current IFVs are packed with an arsenal of weapons designed to take out external threats and ensure the safety of passengers. Unfortunately, all that armor and firepower takes its toll on mobility. With cargo, payloads, and passengers on board, IFVs become sluggish, especially when compared to lightweight utility vehicles like the Humvee. But that's where the boomerang comes in. It's set to break through the old standards of IFV mobility and take the industry into a new era of swift and resilient infantry fighting vehicles. This is so much technology packed into one vehicle. Capable of tearing across the battlefield at a staggering 100 kilometers per hour, the boomerang moves nearly as fast as lighter military vehicles can go, and it's only 13 kilometers per hour shy of the maximum speed of a Humvee. Nevertheless, and despite the promises, the project has endured several delays during to on the veracity of the claims made by the Russian military. Assessment Compared to some of the world's most advanced IFVs in active service, the boomerang specifications leap from the blueprints. If the vehicle can deliver what its creators are promising, it could become one of the most capable platforms of its kind. The American M2 Bradley and South Korean K21 have top speeds of around 66 and 70 kilometers per hour, and the Stryker falls even farther behind with a top speed of just 53 kilometers per hour. And the Russian one has 100, over, I think over 100, they say over 100 per hour kilometers per hour. The superior speed will make it more effective in maneuvering around the battlefield and right. quickly getting troops to the front lines. When it comes to firepower, the boomerang also stands out, as its remotely operated turret can be equipped with a 30mm cannon, a 7.62mm machine gun, and anti-tank missiles, giving it a significant advantage over the M2 Bradley and K21, which have 25mm cannons and 40mm grenade launchers, respectively. Moreover, the Stryker has a man turret with a 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm grenade launcher, making it less effective against enemy vehicles and personnel. Regarding armor capabilities, the Boomerang excels with its advanced composite armor that can withstand small arms fire, mines, and improvised explosive devices, providing superior protection for troops. The M2 Bradley and K21 have similar protection features, but the Stryker's armor is less advanced and requires add-on armor kits. The VPK-7829 Boomerang is shaping to become a pinnacle of infantry fighting vehicles. It's a vehicle with unmatched potential when it comes to speed, firepower, and armor capabilities. And its advanced technology, top-tier armor, and blazing speed make it the perfect choice for a wide range of military operations across various environments. Wait, is the tire bulletproof? Because what if it's fast and then somebody just shoots the tire? Then it can't go. No wonder it's expected to cause a stir in the world of modern warfare. Thank you. Okay, so that's the end of that one. I'll put the link to the channel. That is by Dark Turk. What did I say, Dark Turk? Dark Tech. Well, it was a very good video. So far, with all this engineering we've seen, it seems like Israel and Russia is winning. Russia, they have very good technology, but it seems they don't make a lot of noise about it. Well, if you like technology, you might want to look into Russian army technology. I mean, not for purchase, but 
to enjoy engineering. I like watching it because I enjoy engineering. I don't promote the usage of all this because it's destruction. But 